Okay, so you're probably wearing green this morning for one of two reasons. One, for St. Patrick's Day. Uh-huh. And or and? right for the uh, USF Bulls to show support for them because they pulled off their second win in their first NCAA tournament appearance. The game in Nashville against Temple went into the early hours of the morning. The team beat fifth seeded Temple 58 to 44. Our Tom Corn was there for all of the action. Some people around the country may call it an upset, but it was nonetheless an exciting victory for the University of South Florida Bulls over Temple last night, 58-44. The excitement on the court here, incredible. And then the excitement spread outside. And who thought USF wasn't supposed to be in the tournament? From a lot of Bulls fans, very happy fans, to a very happy head coach here for the University of South Florida, Stan Heath. You know, I look at this board, well, that looks pretty nice right there, doesn't it? That looks great. Doesn't it nice to have your name on the board right there? Yeah, South Florida against Ohio. You know, people, they say this, this tournament is all about. It's about upsets. Well, uh, you know, obviously there was a lot of maybe questions of did we, should we have been in or not. And, but I think if you ask people in our league and, and that played against us, they would say, hey, you know what, that's a, that's a pretty good team. And, uh, you know, I think teams that defend, teams that have toughness, have a legitimate chance to advance in this tournament, and our, our team has that. Tale of two halves. I mean, this team just said fire. Boys just said, let's have a little fun, I guess, and that, that's what it is. Is that, is that the magic potion here? I, I think they had to loosen up a little bit. Uh, sometimes things are contagious, and it seemed like we missed, and we missed, and we missed, and we kept putting more pressure on ourselves to make. And, you know, I thought when Noriega hit his three, and then all of a sudden in the second half we got some things going with threes and dunks, then everything just loosened up. The weight of the world just came off our shoulder, and these kids start playing. I know in defense set up a lot of those transition baskets, uh, but Victor Rudd, I mean, as I was saying to him, I thought every three he took got farther and farther out. And, and I know you look at it, but once the kid gets hot, you just got to let him go, don't you? You got to let him go. And I've seen him do it in practice. I've seen him do it in some games. Uh, and, and Vic's one of those guys. Uh, he, he gets it going, and he sees the rim, and it starts getting big for him. And, you got to let him go a little bit, and uh, he stepped up in a big way. He's been playing his best basketball right now, and it couldn't come at a better time. Okay, it's not Michigan. It is Ohio on Sunday. Let's talk about that. Well, I haven't had a good look at him, but I will. You know, uh, obviously, I'm going to work hard on that. But DJ Cooper is a terrific point guard from Ohio. Uh, I used to play in the MAC. I coached in the MAC, so I have a lot of history with Mid-American Conference basketball. Uh, these teams are extremely dangerous. We're going to have to play very good basketball to beat Ohio. Well, congratulations, and uh, on to Sunday. All right, thank you. Thanks, Coach. I appreciate it. appreciate it. All right, so University of South Florida moving on here in the NCAA tournament along with Florida State. Both teams taking the court here at the Bridgestone Arena on Sunday. From Nashville, Tom Corrin, ABC Action News. Was a tale of two halves out in Nashville. Florida and Florida State both also advanced to the third round last night, and the big loss everyone is talking about is Duke falling to Lehigh University. We have an update on that deadly plane crash in North Carolina. That plane took off from right here in Florida. We now know the names of those killed.